Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the Crocker app, and today I'm going to take you through this back and bicep workout. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so you remember to come back and give this workout a go yourselves. So the focus in today's workout is to gain strength and muscle in our backs and then we'll add some bicep workout at the end to pump those up too. So let's get in there and start with the warm up. Let's go. Here we are straight into the warm up. Make sure you're starting your workout with a cardiovascular warm up and dynamic activation exercises as well. And seeing as this is a back and bicep workout, it's a useful way to start your workout in a rowing machine for the warm up because this will already get those muscles working, the back, the biceps, and of course, a full body cardio machine is gonna get the blood pumping across the whole body, which is exactly what you want. I see a lot of people just walk straight into the gym and then straight into lifting weights. And that's a great way to injure yourself very quickly. Make sure you're taking time to go through your warm up. And very quickly, I'm gonna show you five dynamic stretches and activations that you can do before this workout. So 10 reps of these, 10 forwards, 10 back, stretching the back and the front, and then move into reaching to one side and then the other side, stretching those lats. And then stepping up outside your hand and lifting one hand into a rotation, getting the rotation through the spine as well as activating the legs. Then move into 20 slow mountain climbers, strong shoulders and engage the core. And the final activation exercise to warm up the shoulders, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep your hands off the floor, just reaching up into a Y and reaching back. This is great to strengthen and stabilize the shoulders. So the first exercise in this workout is the chin up. And this is of course one of the best exercises for building a back and strong biceps. And for the reps, you just wanna to go to failure. Do as many as you can and then rest for about 60 seconds and do this three times. Of course, your reps are gonna reduce over the course of three sets. And even for me, just going slow and controlled, I didn't get many. So if you wanna use an assisted machine or a band that straps around the bar and across your knees or legs, and that's absolutely fine as well. You wanna get as many reps as you can and start this workout strong. So moving on to exercise two, I want to introduce to you the method that I'm gonna be using in the theme of the workout today, which is basically like a pyramid. Over the course of three sets, you're gonna increase the weight. So do 12 reps and then increase the weight, then do 10 reps, then increase the weight and do eight reps. But on the end of the third set with eight reps, I want you to reduce the weight and do a drop set and just strip the bar, do more and then reduce again and then do more reps again to failure each time on the way down. So it's like a pyramid up taking your time, but then the pyramid down is like drop sets, but I want you to do the drop sets only on the final set. So as you can see here with the bent over row, I've increased from 40 kilograms to 50 kilograms to 60 kilograms, all with a nice like 90 second rest in between, building up through 12 reps, 10 reps and eight reps. And then once I finish this one, I want to reduce the weight all the way back down and rep out to failure. And then you can drop the weight even more again. I think on this bent over row, I only dropped once, but in the future exercises of this workout, I reduced further. Moving on into the one arm cable row. What you'll find with a lot of back exercises is it really works your core as well, especially if you're just using one arm at a time. So make sure you keep your core engaged here. Keep your shoulders down and locked in elbow tight to the body and really squeeze in the lats, especially those lower lats. When it comes to the reps and sets here, I want you to continue on the method I just explained. So doing one arm and then immediately moving on to the other arm, but over the three sets, do 12 reps, then 10 reps, then eight reps, increasing the weight each set. Once you've completed the eight reps, I want you to drop set all the way down. And on the cable machine, that's very easy just to quickly just reduce the slots and then keep lifting. Just hit failure every single time going down. It really doesn't matter what weight you're lifting, just aiming for failure. 
Unfortunately, this gym have recently removed their lat pull down, so I am sitting on the floor, but it's not too bad. I still find it working really well for the back and for the lats. So exactly the same here. I am increasing weight over three sets. Um, for 12, 10 and 8. This is of course optional to you. You can do this workout with standard sets if you like and the drop sets as well. But my advice to you is if you're in the gym and you want to work as hard as you can and get the most benefits that you can, then you want to do the drop sets. You want to reach failure. You want to push the muscles as hard as you can to get the best results. Now we're just gonna target the lower back and the glutes to finish off this back section. In the lower back raise, I'm using a ball because again, I currently don't have one of these lower back raise machines, but you probably do in your gym, so you can use one of these. If not, this is a good substitution. Using the ball, bring your hands up to your head. You really wanna squeeze the glutes, get the glutes working before the lower back and let the lower back do the secondary work. You wanna get it working, but you wanna not just focus on the lower back alone. Make sure your whole posterior chain is activated. And here, just go for a nice three times 10 reps with 60 seconds rest. So the final two exercises of the workout are to target the biceps. First of all, this cable bar preacher curl. This one really targets the biceps to strengthen and build the muscle. For reps and sets, you're gonna go for the same increasing weight method that we did before. Three sets for 12, 10, and eight, and then drop set all the way back down. You wanna try and get your arms fully extended when you can, and lift up, pause at the top, and really squeeze with your mind. Get that conscious contraction in the bicep. And when you hit failure at the end, don't be afraid to do some pulse reps, some half reps. Give it absolutely everything that you've got, even when you can't perform real full reps anymore. Final exercise of the day, switching up the angle on the bicep with the hammer curl. In a seated position, grab the dumbbells, keep them in that same angle. Really good work for the brachio radialis, which goes over the forearm as well. So this is a good all round bicep and arm exercise. Keep to the same method with the sets and the reps, increasing weight for three sets, 12, 10 and eight, and then drop set all the way back down. It's gonna burn, it's gonna hurt, and you're gonna wanna go fast but you've got to go slow. Slow, contract, squeeze. Going fast is cheating. Slow it down and get good quality reps. That's it guys, back and bicep workout complete. Something you could do now at the end of this already quite long workout. You could add on some optional cardio workout or abs workouts. I'm gonna do a little circuit now, but this was mostly a back and bicep workout. Make sure you click the thumbs up so you come back and give this workout a go and all of these workouts are from my crockfit app today i'm working through my gym fit 3 training program the app is free to download and free to try so make sure you give it a go and anybody using my programs gets access to me one-to-one -one support to help you on your fitness journey so that's it please click subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.